Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today we have Matt and his Space Marines versus Skari and his Eldar Harlequins and Dark Eldar. Make sure you check the links down below to see the blog and other stuff that uh, content we create. Stay tuned, this is going to get intense. <laughs> Okay, 1,500 points of Eldar, Dark Eldar, Harlequins. We have a Eldar Cad with an Autark with a Banshee Mask in a, um, just on foot. Then we've got two units of jet bikes, one with scatter lasers, uh, five warp spiders, two separate scatter laser lance warwalkers, a wraith knight with sword and board. And then I have a Dark Eldar allied detachment, two Venom Cabalite Warrior units, a Blastborn unit in a Raider with a Lance, the Archon with a Webway Portal, and then I have a cast of players uh, with a level 2 Mask of Secrets um, Shadow Seer, an Armor of Misery on my Archon. Um, I haven't rolled my Warlord trait yet, but my um, uh, Shadow Seer got Veil, Veil of Tears yep. and Shriek. And then we have lots of flies, five different flies. So we've got a Stormwing Formation. So uh, that guy and these two guys, and then two fast attack um, storm talons. We've got a drop pod with centurions, uh, with grav and bolters with tigarius. Um, then he rolled ignore cover, um, re-rolling everything, and he can re-roll everything and uh, overwatch a full ballistic skill. And then three units of scouts in storms with bolters. Um, and a combi flamer? Uh, heavy, heavy flamer. Heavy yeah. flamer on combi each of them. Melters. Combi melters on the actual scouts. So that's 1,500 points. 1,500 points. And the mission is table quarters. So it's going to be an interesting mission. Let's um, get to deployment. Okay, so we've got some scout moves going on. Um, I made Matt go first. And he's got some uh, some uh, moves to happen. So he's to scout moving his storms. And all I deployed was a unit of um, Warp Spiders. He's got Grab Centurions coming down a drop pod. And um, everything else is in reserve. My Wall of Trade is uh, reroll reserves and uh, plus one to seize initiative, but I'm not trying to seize. And uh, he's got everything else in reserve as well. So this is going to be a reserve game. Okay, let's get this on the road. Turn one, death from above. Centurions drop down. The drop pod targeted the uh, warp spiders. They just jumped back here. So now they are out of line of sight of this. And then those guys just moved up. They didn't get immobilized. And those guys moved up over here. So we now have turn one. And it is Eldar Dark Eldar turn one before all the reserves start showing up. The warp spiders moved up, shot everything into this uh, speeder. It was jinking and it was night fight, so they only put one penetrating hit on it. Uh, the unit inside can only snap shoot and the tank can only snap shoot. And then they jump moved over this side here, getting far away from the Centurions as possible. So now we have reserves to arrive, but at the start of the turn, we have two... Um, uh, we have three points handed over to the Space Marines for objectives, uh, for table quarters. So three points, ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's move on to reserves. Two Storm Talons. These are separate. Um, I'm going to re-roll the successful one. Okay. And Perfect, they will arrive. stay off. Uh, I have one outflanking Scout Squad. I'll re-roll it. They will be coming on. And the Stormwing. I'll re-roll it. And they're coming on. Okay, Stormwing comes on. And the scouts arrive out flanking. Okay, but they come into a deserted battlefield. The Stormwing did show up. And then the scouts got out. They shot the Warp Spiders. The Warp Spiders jumped 10 inches behind this big wall that was a line of sight blocker, basically negating all other shooting except for the assault cannon from that Storm Talon and the scouts and the uh, the launcher from this um, that could see them just in there. They lost the Exarch to an assault cannon and two of the models. And the scouts tried to charge them to see if they would break and uh, scatter, but they have uh, regrouped now because they are... Um, they regrouped. So now we're moving on to Eldar Dark Eldar, turn two. Okay, so we have three points to... 
Now, I'm not going to get any points this turn for primary. First blood is still up for grabs. Um, and let's see what we can do here. So we're going to roll for um, the Harlequin, the Harlequin um, caster players. And I'm going to keep them in. Uh, we're going to go for... Um, we're going to go as well for um, two separate units of Warwalkers. And I'm going to add plus one to bring them in. We're going to go for the Wraith Knight. And he's going to come in. We're going to go for the unit of Scatter Bikes. They arrive and the regular unit of Bikes. I'm going to subtract minus one to keep them off the board. The Blasterborn that are Deep Striking. I'm going to re-roll that with my Warlord trait. And then they arrive. And then the two Venoms with units inside them. I'm going to re-roll both of those and get them both on. Well, the War Spiders came in, uh, charged into the Scouts and failed both their saves. So they got murdered by the Scouts. Um, this uh, speeder jinked, but it survived. The Scatter Laser Bikes, first shot ever after they got painted. Failed to do any damage against that guy, but he jinked. And then the um, Caster players came in. I uh, cast Psychic Shriek. Uh, they did not um, They did not take any damage from that because Tiggy stopped it. But then the Hallucinogenic Grenade Launcher has pinned the Centurions. So they are sitting there. Um, luckily, they didn't run off the table because the Death Jester would have made them run off the table this way. But they passed their morale test. In shooting, the Warwalkers have come on this far flank, outflanking. One of them blew up this um, uh, speeder for first blood. And then I have the uh, big guy walking up that and two Venoms back here. So we're moving on to Space Rain turn three. And we have a couple of more um, things to come on the board. Strong talents. One of I'm them. I'm going to uh, try and bring it with in. Cool. So yeah. both of them arrive. The Space Marines are committed. And as for points, we have Space Marines getting one more point for this table quarter. Okay. That's four points to none for the Dark Elder. Scouts got back into their ride, moved up that way. This moved back this way. Two of these Storm Towns came on. One dispatched of the Scatter Laser Warwalkers in one round of shooting. This one shot up, uh, killed the Archon and a couple of other guys because my Autark was at the front and he had to look out through a bunch of stuff. But T Tiggy ended up killing himself. He was on one wound remaining after failing two saves last turn. And then he perilsed and took a wound and he killed himself, which fought, then made the Centurions run away from the Harlequins. In other shooting, the Storm uh, Talon Wings thing came up, put two wounds on the big guy over there, and those scouts just sat there because they are pinned. So the Dark Eldar um, get one point for that quarter, one point for this quarter, no points for this quarter because it is heavily contested by the Space Marines, and we have one, two, well, the Blastborn come in automatically, but the Eldar jet bikes are going to see if they run. And they do. And I'm going to bring them on. Okay, so let's see what happens this turn. So I killed that speeder. They jumped in and murdered all the scouts. Um, Psychic Shriek missed. Can't wait for it not to have to hit, as per the FAQ. Um, and then we had these guys jump around. And then this deep struck here immobilized itself, failed to do any damage, it forced into jinking. Um, sorry, lost one whole point. And then over here, this Venom Turbo Boosted from back there to contest that, help contest the table quarter. Both these War Walkers have come around this way and did nothing against the Flyers. The Wraith Knight charged in, killed two scouts. They survived, but he is locked in combat with them, while some Cabalite Warriors and a Venom have all uh, disembarked and moved around to cause as much trouble for the Space Marines as physically possible in the later parts of the game. So we're looking at four points for the Space Marines to two points to the Dark Eldar so far and this is turn four with no points gained for the Space Marines on primary and um, moving on to the next turn we do have a Veil of Tears up let's see if the um, Warlord's unit survives Grav Centurions rallied knocked out that raider the guys got out and they got rapid fired bolted and this Storm Talon finished them off this Storm Talon here knocked out that Venom. 
they have gone out, they're not pinned, while this storm tower shot at these guys and killed two harlequins thanks to some good lookouts or rolls. And this storm talon failed to kill any of the bikes, but did make them jink. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn four, and I have gained another two points for that quarter and this quarter. And the game is now tied four to four for primary. Okay, this is going to be an interesting turn. The um, Storm Raven has gone off the table, ready to come in. Guns are blazing on turn five. Let's see what happens as all the skimmers are now in hover mode. So I uh, put one wound on each of the, the um, Centurions and charged in with my uh, cast of players with the Autark. So they're standing there. These uh, Cavalite Warriors just stand there all proud. I was able to contest this quarter here. Uh, I killed one of the Storm Talons with the Wraith Knight. The other one was jinking its life away. And uh, I didn't do anything to any of the others um, with all my other shooting. Other than that, the Space Marines are now going into their fifth turn. They get one more point for this table, uh, for that table quarter over there, because I cannot contest it. So we're looking at the Storm Raven coming on on turn five now. Could be the end of the game. It's tightly contested. Let's see what happens. Skimmers have all moved around. I lost two jet bikes there, but that long jet bike survived and passed his morale test. I didn't do any damage to the Centurions, but I hit and ran into that quarter. And then two of these Storm Talons plus this uh, scout unit had to kill the Cavalite unit here. And this Storm Raven came in and uh, tried to kill both of these two Warwalkers, murdered one. One is surviving with one hull point remaining. So in turn five, we have the Dark Eldar taking a point for this quarter with a Venom and Cabalites, taking a point for this quarter with one Warwalker because that guy is in swooping mode, and taking a point in this quarter with uh, a scoring unit with two points, the, the Shadow Seer and his cohort, and the Wraith Knight. That's four points to the Drop Pod and two Storm Talons for three points. So I'm three points to primary. Okay, that brings me up two points ahead of the Space Marines. Let's move on to turn five. Could be the end of the game. Of course, kill points are a thing, and I have a feeling that I've lost a lot more kill points than my opponent. Big guy go in and smash one of the little skimmers. I had the uh, Shriek miss again, and then they charged in, didn't do anything to the Centurion, so they're stuck in combat again. And then my other shooting didn't do anything um, against this speeder that passed every save. So right now, we're sitting at seven points to primary for the Eldar Dark Eldar to five points primary to the um, Space Marines, which means if the game ends, the Dark Eldar Eldar will take primary. Secondary, I've killed six of the enemy units, seven of the enemy units, and he has killed seven of my units. So if the game ends, we tie on the secondary. And then we have uh, First Blood was the Dark Eldars. I do have Warlord because Tiggy is dead. I do have Line Breaker. And then uh, Most Expensive Unit has to die. So that hasn't happened. Um, and that hasn't happened on either end. So uh, it leaves like a very slim victory for the uh, Eldar Dark Eldar if the game is to end. So drum roll, please, Mr. Matt. <laughs> The game continues on to a turn six, where the Space Marines do gain one more point um, for this table quarter here, and it goes up to six points. Uh, scouts got out here uh, just to make sure that's that in quarters nine possible to take. Um, the Shadow, the Death Jester died, uh, but they hit and ran out that way. And I was trying to roll high enough to get into this quarter to contest it because the Venom died back there. But uh, the Warwalker did survive passing his environmental saves against um, some shooting. Um, and then the Eldar jet bike, the lone Eldar jet bike, died back there. So the Space Marines have gained two more kill points and one more point for their uh, primary. So we're looking at seven to six. It's going on to turn six, so I get one more point for the Cavalite where I was sitting in the backfield over there. 
and <laughs> I need to get two more kill points in order to uh, tie up the kill point game once again. So, the end of the turn six, we had um, my Warwalker not do anything. Oh no, my Warwalker finally killed that land speeder. I finally killed one more Centurion for the like fifth time in a row. Psychic Shriek missed. <laughs> I can't wait for that to change. And then my Wraith Knight charged in and murdered another one of the Storm Talons. So, it's tied on kill points again. I'm up by two points again. And does the game continue on to turn seven? Nope. It does not that is a game sir game. so i believe it is a slight victory for the eldar dark eldar um other than that wow what an absolute bloodbath any comments for the game <laughs> taking a non-competitive army against a competitive army and i'm just trying to find different angles on how to f have fun with it basically i think my first three turns of trying to fire at warp spiders <laughs> You know, hey, what can you do about it, right? Yeah, um, you kind of have to get them in combat. So, uh, yeah, it was fun. Awesome. I think I was uh, way out of position with those sets. I should have dropped them first. Like right, right in the middle, middle. Yeah. yeah. Kind of baited them in with the warp spiders. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, check out the links down below for the army lists, the Patreon page if you'd like to support the channel and continue to have better content, as well as... Uh, the Tactical Corner, where I talk about the tactics that went into the game. Um, let me know what you think down below. Like, subscribe, comment. This is Skari, your grateful host, signing out. Until next time. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Skari out. Hello and welcome to another Tactical Corner. So, I was playing against Matt and his Heavy Flyer list. Now, this was going to be a very interesting game, considering um, he didn't really have much on the ground, and last time I played his list, he absolutely destroyed my army, um, with the Storm Raven doing most of the damage. So, I knew I needed to Null Deploy, and I gambled by putting my warp spiders on the table and only the warp spiders now he came down with his drop pod centurion so i wanted to safeguard my wraith knight and the uh the warp spiders were able to get out of range and line of sight of his army on the first turn this meant that i was then able to put pressure on some of the weaker units namely the scouts now, forcing Matt to deal with the Warp Spiders early in the game, then saw his reserves come in. Now, a big part of his reserves was the Stormwing. And even with Tigeris' re-roll for reserves, he was forced to bring them in onto the table. Now, this meant that he was highly committed to the game board before all my reserves started showing up. And, you know, my... Warp Spiders did not die. There were still two left. They eventually died in combat against the Scouts, but surprisingly enough, they stayed alive. Then my reserves started showing up, and, you know, the Wraith Knight was, of course, one of the bigger things that, you know, Matt was going to have to deal with at some point, uh, but once uh, he did target the Wraith Knight with everything he had. That was kind of my plan. I was hoping that it was mostly the rest of the shooting that was dealing with the Wraith Knight and not the Grav Centurions. Now, the Grav Centurions were targeted by the leadership bomb of the Harlequins. Armor of Misery, Mask of Secrets, and of course the Autark and the Archon for the Webway Portal and some 3 plus armor saves in there as well. Now this then allowed me to really destroy that bit of a just like a superstar, and um, Tigeris killing himself really just put a damper on the rest of the Space Marine strategy. Although the Space Marines started getting primary points for table quarters early on in the game, I stayed put and really played to the mission, overwhelming one quarter at a time to make sure that I was gaining more points towards the end of the game, using my Harlequins effectively and focusing on the things I could kill and the mission instead of worrying about the flies. Eventually, the flies had to come into skimmer mode into hover mode. This allowed the Wraith Knight to eventually go around and blow up three out of the four um, Storm Talons by himself, just 
wielding that big ghost glaive and ripping them to shreds when they got too close to the ground. All in all, um, this game was an absolute bloodbath, and it could have gone either way. What worked for me this game was being patient, playing to the mission, and making sure that I didn't hold any punches. Because I knew that I was outgunned, and I wasn't going to be as fast as Matt. And this meant that I had to use all the tools at my disposal in order to claw my way back up to victory. Now, when we're playing a game like this, sometimes it's good to not deploy very much and play the game in the last four turns of the game. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Support the channel on Patreon. Check the links down below if you'd like to support the channel financially. I appreciate you guys watching. This is Skari, your grateful host, out. Thank <laughs> you.